Hi everyone, it's Rhonda from Flowers and More by Rhonda. And today I wanted to show you all my beautiful DT package from Gone Artsy. And if you haven't had a chance to uh, shop the store yet, well, you just don't know what you're missing because the products there are absolutely stunning. But the first thing I want to show you all in my kit are these adorable baby buggy appliques, which I think would be perfect for baby shower invitations or if you're doing centerpieces for the baby shower. Aren't they just darling? And they're way bigger than I thought, so they're a really nice size. Too cute. Okay, now next I want to show you are these beautiful ivory feather appliques. They're cotton, so you won't have any shrinkage or anything like that um, if you're using a heat gun when dyeing them. And uh, Deb's products in her store are all dyeable material, so that works great if you need it in another color. Aren't these just the cutest? Love them. Now the next thing are these adorable double row black mini rosette trim. Now I have this in pink also. I don't know if you can see the black very well. But they are really cute. And you get two rows of them. So you can cut them. And I should mention that all of uh, Deb's laces in her store come in um, half yard increments. So if you don't need quite as much, there you go. Pretty awesome. Let me show you that in the pink since I have it laying right here. You might be able to see a little bit better, yeah. But the black is just like this. Now this one I've split in two. So I used to not care for these little boogers till I started seeing Scrap and Madge use them a lot. And I just, she sold me on them. So now the next thing. And lay this over here. Um, is this absolutely gorgeous pink rosette with silver embroidered leaves lace trim. And this is it right here. And the leaves are silver. Aren't they pretty? They just sparkle. They sparkle so well. And then they each have a pearl right in the center of them. You can cut this whole section out and use it on a project or just part of it. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Love it. And the next thing I want to show you is, now if you do a lot of bridal things, uh, Deb not only carries combs, but she has um, and she has them in two different sizes as well. She also has headbands and barrettes. And the barrettes are a terrific price for a set of four. And these come in a set of two. I'm trying to get that glare off there. And I plan on doing some uh, really pretty uh, hair pieces with these. And using some of the other products in the store. So these are a really great price. They're only a dollar fifteen for a, a set of two, and they're nice, thick, heavy plastic too. Okay, now if you see my last video of my DT get, you'll know that this one happens to be one of my favorites, and that is the music note uh, lace. And if anyone knows me, they know that I'm a huge Elvis fan as well. I have that backwards. Here we go. So uh, I had did a altered clipboard for one of the groups that I'm in, and it was a lot of fun. And I was the lucky recipient to uh, partner up with someone who was a huge Elvis fan. So I used this on her uh, altered clipboard and did everything in Elvis. So that was a lot of fun for me. But this is a really pretty lace. So if you're doing, which theme weddings are the rage right now. So if you're 
into music or musicians marrying musicians. Uh, perfect, perfect thing for your wedding. Now, this one is my number one all-time favorite lace in the store. It is the Ivory Crochet Ruffled Stretch Lace. And these are, this, this is great to make garters. Uh, real cute little headbands. Especially for babies. And if you don't want it to, you want to stretch it completely out, it's just as pretty. Either way. So cute. This would be a cute little waistband on a little skirt. I like to do those tutus, so that would be cute around the waistband. But this is my number one lace from Glomartsy. Okay, the next thing I want to show you. Uh, Okay, let's see. Um, when you get little charms or beads or anything like that from uh, um, Deb, she always puts them in a really cute little organza bag. So cute for reusing. And I love polka dots. So this one's in a polka dot bag. So the first thing, let me get everything out of here. Okay. First thing I want to show you, and I dropped one earlier, uh, but these beautiful peacock blue lampwork glass beads, great for jewelry, but they come in a set of four. I just have one down on the floor. <laughs> and uh, you can use them for jewelry, you can use them for doing stick pins, and I have some of the really long hat pins. So these would be perfect for those and again they come in a set of four and I'm looking for my other one and I see it great oh let me know this right here okay the next thing is the gold embroidered swirl pattern lace applique and these are just absolutely beautiful they're sort of like an antique white and they have gold threading in them Aren't they beautiful? You can see the gold just shimmer. Love them. Love them, love them. Now the next thing I'm excited to show you all about is this white ostrich feather trim. And I just fell in love with that when I pulled it out of the bag. Isn't that cute? And it has like a satin uh, ribbon that it's attached to. Satin or a taffeta. But it's uh, double stitched. Isn't that cute? Ooh, I love it. This would be cute on a lampshade. Makes me think of the 1920s. The Flapper Girls. Precious. Oh, got a bag with it. Lay this over here on play. All right. Next thing I want to tell you about are the um, six organza pink and white beaded Victorian flowers. And I think these little things are just precious. They're really pale pink with a really pretty little uh, green organza ribbon leaf attached along with little pearls right in the center. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Adorable. Great for any type of crafting. Too cute. Now let me take these and I'll drop them in a little bag here. And then the next thing I want to tell you about is this beautiful glass rhinestone Eye of God gold embellishment. And this one's in the gold. And I have a project in plan for this. Isn't that pretty? You can use it for a buckle. Or place it on any craft project you have going. And it just sparkles so pretty. Love it. 
Now next, I want to show you this. Um, it is a uh, metal pearl and crystal rhinestone heart ribbon slide. There you go. Beautiful little heart with rhinestones all around it. I want to show you the. Hope you can see that. Yeah. See where your ribbon goes right through there. I think these would be great on wedding invitations, uh, anniversary invitations, anything like that. Which, uh, and what I like about it is that it's not too wide and it'll work perfect when mailing, which I learned the hard way with uh, my daughter's wedding invitations because she wanted a key and ribbon. And the keys that we had were a little too thick, which caused a little bit of a problem with mailing. So but these are perfect. And when you do apply embellishments, always take your invitations into your post office because the weight can bump your price up. And you'd hate for that to all be returned. So, all right. The next thing I want to tell you about is the white rayon embroidered lace. Now, this, this one is a rayon. Isn't that pretty? And it's shimmery and it's shiny. Be perfect for a wedding. These look like little hearts up here. Up here. So cute. Absolutely beautiful. Also another uh, lace to be beautiful on wedding invitations. Okay. Now then this is the uh, pink pearl beaded garland. And this also comes in white. Isn't it cute? And I don't know if I mentioned this already. I might have. Uh, but again, you can purchase trims and laces all in half yard increments at the Gone Artsy store, which I might have already mentioned. Isn't it cute? Now, the next thing. My notes here. All right, the white floral embroidered lace. I have just a piece of it here because I used some the other night at the show. If anyone got to see where I altered a pumpkin, um, unfortunately it didn't record though, so I will do a video showing it later. But it is beautiful. It makes me think of peacocks. I don't know why. And Deb loves peacocks. But it puts me in the mind of that. But you can cut these apart and use whatever pieces you want if you don't want to use it all. Which is what I did. Isn't it cute? Actually, it's more than cute. It's actually very stunning. Very stunning. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about are these beautiful lace masks that Deb now carries in the store. And if you're doing a masquerade wedding or a masquerade ball, uh, I have glue from my table that has gotten on these. Or I had it laying. Oh. Um, but this is a nice, heavy, hard plastic. Very smooth. So be comfortable to wear. And Although it comes very embellished nicely the way it is with it covered in the lace and the trim, there's just so much more you can add to it. And it has a nice long organza ribbon. And you can get these in white, black, and red at the shop. So cool. Very pretty. Deb altered one at one of the shows and she did it um, for a masquerade themed wedding and attached a veil and it was absolutely beautiful. And that is on the Ustream channel. Uh, it's recorded there or you can see it on the Gone Artsy YouTube channel. So check that out. Okay, this is a new lace that Deb has in the store and it is actually very stunning. It is a orange elegant lace. And I'm just going to wait out here for you to look because it definitely speaks for itself. And uh, 
It also has a finished edge up here. So you can use this whole piece or you can cut out this. You can add rhinestones to it, pearls. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Let me hold it up and see, see the color a little better. It's a beautiful orange. And if you get a chance, stop by the um, Gone Artsy blog because Deb has used this on some initials that she covered. And oh my goodness, are they pretty. A must see. And uh, DT Janine has uh, created a, a soap holder, a hanging soap holder, using this also. And it's, oh my, it is adorable. And that is on the Gone Artsy Facebook page that you can check that out. Now this next lace I'm going to show you, I just, um, I love it. And I thought of two things that would be awesome to do with this. And this is a sassy brown and mint trim. And there's so much you could do with this. You could cut this, just use this. You could cut it down through the middle or that way you just have half. But I thought taking this whole piece and sewing it onto the end of pillowcases would be gorgeous. Um, or towels, bath towels. If you have um, bath towels, decorate, decorative hand, hand towels uh, hanging in your bathroom, this would be beautiful. I just, I'm in awe. It's got a beautiful shine. The embroidery work is just stunning. So, yeah. Order you some of this. And I'll show you how wide it is. Okay, there. Ready is at my fingertips. And here's my wrist. So, to give you an idea, it's a nice wide length. In fact, let me just measure it. It's about six inches wide. Nice wide lace if you're if you like wide laces and I love them. Okay. Now the next thing I want to show you all is Deb has bless her heart, she's such a sweetie. She um she has taken this month and has designed kits uh named after her design team. And what she has done with these kits is she's put them together according to uh, items and products and colors that we like. So, I want to share with you all my kit, the Rhonda kit. It debuts today, um, November, November 7th. I'm thinking today's the 6th. And it's very limited. Uh, all the kits are limited. So, uh, they will be available for purchase till the end of the year, unless sold out prior, of course. And um, mine contains a very limited lace, and I believe there's only four of them available. So, um, hurry by and get your kit. But as I said earlier, this is my favorite all-time lace in the shop. So, Deb has included it in my kit, bless her heart. So I was pretty excited about that because I think everybody should have this lace. Next, um, my very first show that I did for Deb, my very first show ever, and everybody had for a long time been saying, I needed to do them, I needed to do them, but, well, I did. <laughs> but this is uh, the beautiful bracelet that Deb carries in the shop that I have fell in love with and my first show was a wrist corsage that I put together on this bracelet because when I just think that the bracelets for any corsages they need to be just as pretty as the flowers so uh, I hate those old stretchy elastic ones that are just the elastic nothing else so um, Deb included this in my kit, bless her heart. So, 
but there's just so much more I think you can do with this. I had mentioned on the show, I think it would be cool to make a pair of uh, hoop earrings out of. So, uh, yeah, I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, these are some of the laces. That she, now, before I go any further, my favorite color is green. I absolutely love green. And another color that I love with it is peach. So, uh, but this is one of the laces. It's a dark green, almost an emerald green, that uh, Deb has included in the store. So pretty. And these are dyed. So, uh, shows you how well her laces do dye. And I believe this one can come in two different colors. Uh, it's automatically available. And she has done it in sort of a, um, kind of a teal green, I would say. Very pretty. You can place flat backs in the center of that or rhinestones or you can cut them apart. That's another piece. And then this, I love this fun trim because you can do so much with it and it's great when you're going around edges or corners. And this is uh, kind of like a mint green. No, maybe not quite a mint green. Um, Made more like a light green, I would say. So, uh, the green isn't picking up very well on my camera, I'm afraid. But it's um, very pretty. I'm sorry for my phone to be ringing, y'all. Um, the next piece of lace, she has dyed a mint green. And uh, this can be cut apart and used. Again, sorry about the phone. And... Um, Again, she's, like I said, um, a mint green. Very pretty. And appliques. I absolutely love appliques. So, uh, that's why she threw that in there, I'm sure. These and uh, beaded sprays are my, uh, probably my biggest addiction. <laughs> and then, another thing I love about that stuff is this packaging. Uh, she has a majority of her stuff come packaged this way. And what I think is cool is that if you have the pegboards in your craft room, you can just hang them right up when you get them. She takes a lot of time and effort with her packaging, so you just know when a package is pack packaged with love. So that's what I like. So uh, this cute little trim. It's beaded with little teeny tiny rosette on that you can take apart. And I had mine on the package, so now I've got it in a little bit of mess. Isn't that cute? All those little beads. I think this would be adorable on a, um, a flower girl basket. <laughs> for a wedding. So cute. Cute, cute. Now, I'm going to show you, of course, like I said, Deb always puts all her beautiful little bling in uh, the little organza bags. So you get an extra little treat. <clears throat> and I can't remember what these are called. They have a specific name. It almost begins with a C. Uh, I want to say Calabons, but I know that's not right. But these are two different colors that are available in the shop. There is a lime green and a mint green. And you can also get these in a lavender and a pink and I think a cream. So they're very, very cute for embellishing. And they have a little rhinestone uh, that goes around them. And these resin roses right in the center. So she has a variety of these in colors. But these are what she has in the greens. 
cute. And this next piece, she has also in a couple different uh, stone colors. They're different, but this one is a kind of clear, and then right around the edges here, it has like a peach color to it, like that. Uh, uh, the Black Hills gold, how it has that rose colored gold. That's about what that looks like kind of a peachy color. And then on the outer edges there's more rhinestones. Very pretty. But this would be like a beautiful brooch or the pendant uh, at the bottom of your necklace or earrings or even a bracelet. So you'd be pretty in a wrist massage. Very pretty. And they're lightweight, so if you did earrings, they wouldn't be too heavy. So pretty. And I think, nope, oh, nope, I have one more. And this is an exclusive lace. It, like I said, it is not going to be available for long. That is in my kit. And it is a chartreuse. I just think it's so pretty. But again, I love green, so in fact it matches my shirt that I have on right now. <laughs> so isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. But this one is limited. There's not very many of them available. So hurry over to the Zivit store and I'll have all the links at the bottom of the page and a big thank you to Deb for for uh, doing this for her design team because I thought that was just wonderful and uh, very exciting you don't get a kit named after you every day so be sure to check out the uh, Zivit store and uh, we of course have the Gone Artsy YouTube channel and the Gone Artsy Live classes on Ustream. So be sure to like the Gone Artsy fan page on Facebook where you can stay up to date with our classes and when they air. In addition to um, seeing all the wonderful projects that we create using these beautiful products. So again, a uh, big shout out and thank you to them for these lovely kits that she's put together. And don't forget they are limited so they'll be available till the end of the year unless they sell out prior and um, once they're gone they're going to be gone so until next time thanks for stopping by and uh, joining me for my products uh, product review from Gone Artsy thanks a lot bye bye